me steal my heart. <laughs> hmm. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Time for a review. Lapalux, Lapalux, when you're gone. He's a UK-based electronic music producer. This is his latest EP, actually his debut release for Brain Feeder Records, one of the biggest labels in beat music out there right now. And like a lot of releases on this record label, When You're Gone is, is more about sounds and textures than anything. I'm not saying this is an EP of soundscapes and, and ambient tunes. It is beat music. But how these sounds sound, how they feel, how they resonate, and sort of how they play together takes precedent here. Sort of at the sacrifice of, of just about everything else. And that appeals to a side of me, because I love hearing interesting and unique sounds and textures. And there's nothing I hate more than hearing a good song executed with just bad sounds. Just bad sounds. I'm gonna try to go through a few tracks on here, but keep in mind the sound and the style of the songs on this EP jumps around a little bit. The track Gutter Glitter is the first I heard off of this EP, and I like that track a lot. It's this slow, brooding song with this nice set of just chopped and, and pitch-shifted Future Garage vocal samples. And there are all these ethereal synthesizers just pulsating, swirling together, and calling out in just every direction. If you throw this on a pair of headphones, just, it's so panoramic. The beat is loaded with different sounds too, from these really heavy bass hits to this really clack kind of snare, and these kind of popping sounds, this bubble pops. It's got a really sexy quality to it, but it's way too sludgy and, and heavy to really be so. The track Moments is not as heavy, not as monstrous. It's got a vocal guest on it, Pi, a female vocalist, and she's got a really nice, sweet R&B style to her vocal on that song. The groove has a really kind of choppy Future Garage quality to it, and among all these glitzed out synthesizers, there's just this glockenspiel, just sparkling. And toward the end of that track, these really heavy, distorted bass synths come flying in, and it ends up kind of resembling dubstep music, with just these bass kind of revving up. It's a track that mixes just soft, gentle, pretty beautiful sounds with, with heavy, distorted, and just lots of punch. There are tracks on here that kind of pick one end of that spectrum or the other, though, like the intro track, which is just pure bliss. It's got these soft, shy, kind of damaged lead vocals singing very quietly over this soundscape of what sounds like kind of pianos, strings, maybe synths. I can't really tell what this soundscape is made out of because it's like Lapalix took all these sounds and threw them in a sonic fondue pot until you really couldn't tell where one started and one ended. It's a fantastic blend. He really melted these sounds down, and when the track eventually kind of explodes with these piano keys floating in this cloud of, of sonics, it's, 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 it's just gorgeous. And like that track with Pi, right after it, this song has a bit of an R&B quality to it too. The song Gone, on the other hand, is really slow really heavy, has these synthesizers in them that sound like they would have made it into a John Carpenter soundtrack or something. And these pitch-shifted, chopped and sampled vocals that kind of pop up here and there throughout the track just all over the place just add to the creepy factor of that song. This EP is only made of a handful of tracks though, and I was kind of lukewarm on the rest of what was going on here, like the track Yellow 90s is in Construction Deconstruction. Yellow 90s for me was just a, a real change of mood that I wasn't that into. The groove just kind of felt like a, a high fructose electro funk beat that Chromio would have produced or something, though the track didn't really feel all that fun or, or sexy for me. And the song Construction Deconstruction, I know this EP is really, really about texture, but I feel like it throws so much texture at me that I don't really get much out of it. I have a hard time kind of pulling a main theme out of that track, and I feel like 
the groove gets lost a little bit in the in the mess of samples and sounds that just get thrown into that track. And that's kind of an issue I have to a slight degree with other tracks on here, like that song Gone that I talked about earlier. It's got this creepiness about it that I like, but I feel like there's so many sounds in there that don't complement one another, or it's just a lot to hear, but none of it's really sticking with me. I kind of feel in some way that listening to that track is sort of like wading through a bunch of old newspapers or dirty clothes that someone's just refusing to throw away. The EP finishes with this ambient soundscape that I thought was was pretty nice, though it didn't really strike me or, or lure me in or seduce me or anything like that. And there were a lot of songs on here that, you know, I, I kind of got irked with on a level because they, they all finished with fade outs in one way or another. Though I thought this EP had a lot of great textures, a lot of nice blends of, of different genres and ideas, it kind of skimped on other things that I like hearing in, in music too, like a great groove, a strong consistent character. Still, there's no denying that the tracks on here that, that I did love, and even the ones that I didn't, required a lot of talent to put together. I liked this, but I just wasn't really in love with it, or even coming close to that. Kind of feeling a decent to strong six on this EP, but what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? And if you did, why? And what should I review next? Because that's what's important. Not what I review next, but what you actually thought about it. Your personal opinion. It's important. So let me know. Anthony Fantano, when you're gone, forever.